So once again, you are welcome to my channel. You are welcome to Card Feature Solution Academy. My name once again is Tere Menu Dutta Laisa, your Lundity and your Creator Called on this channel. So you are welcome to the episode 29 of this great section, which I'll be talking about the A to Z of catfish farming. And again, from this A to Z of catfish farming, I have talked about a lot of things, so I will not be wasting time at this uh, period, so I'll be uh, going straight to my lecture. So going straight to this lecture from the episode 28, I gave out a compressive uh, formulation for 6MN, the local feed uh, 6MN, and um, from this uh, point I will be breaking the formulation down, that means I will be trying to calculate the crude protein which I will be getting for my 6MN to give me the desirable uh, uh, ranges of uh, crude protein based on uh, to grow my fishes very well and to build up the body tissues of my fishes. So from that point let us calculate for the crude protein now so calculating for the crude protein i told you once again the formulation for our calculation from the crude protein is uh, your that means your crude protein for that materials divided by the quantity of uh, your total formulation and uh, that means times the uh, quantity of feed uh, material you are using for that formulation divided by one this will give you the your crude protein it's just uh, a easy formulation to get your uh, crude protein that means for those of you who cannot stand uh, the, the the stress of using other formulations that means you are using other uh, formulations to get your crude protein this is just an easy uh, layman uh, uh, formula to get your crude protein for any of your formulations so the i'll be well, i'll be talking the first one is the fish meal which i said i'll be using 72 percent yeah so that means 72 to calculate for the crude protein of that uh, uh, food uh, feed we just produced now is a uh, 72 divided by 100 which represent uh, the quantity of the total materials and i'm using 20 kg times 20 divided by one will give me 14.4 percent crude protein for my fish and i told you i'll be using i'll be mixing with with a local feed of 65 percent so this gives me 65 percent divided by 100 which is the totality of the hay of the material of the ingredient i'm formulating uh, times 10 which is the quality uh, quantity of the fish uh, meal i'm using divided by one this this gives me 6.5 percent crude protein and from there i will dive into our food fat soya the food fat soya i tag the crude protein to 46 percent divided by 100 which is the core the total uh, quantity of the material the formulation uh, divided by uh, that is times 25 which is the quantity of the full fat soya i'm using divided by one this will give me 11.5 and uh, the gnc that means the granite cake the granite cake i i put the crude protein to 60 percent divided by 100 divided by 100 times uh, 25 divided by one because i'll be using 25 kg for my 100 uh, kg formulation which gives me 15 percent uh, crude protein and the flour and the likes i'll be using nine percent i'll be tagging it to nine percent crude uh, protein digestible crude protein uh, divided by 100 times 20 i'm using 20 kilo divided by one uh, that gives me 1.8 uh, percent crude protein so let us just take our time now to calculate the total crude protein we have uh, for this uh, formulation so the uh, total crude protein we have is our fish meal we have 14.4 from our local fish meal we have uh, 6.5 from our food fast soya we have 11.5 and uh, from our gnc we have 15 percent and uh, for our flour and the likes the waste the beauty waste the biscuit the cassava uh, any of the uh, carbide source you want to use we have 1.8 percent crude protein so the totality of our 6 mm uh, digestible crude protein runs to 
49.2 percent good protein yeah which is approximately 49 percent uh, good protein yeah to me getting a 49 percent good protein for your 6 mm formulation don't you think this is massive don't you think this is great considering the price that you can produce it but another thing you must phantom i told you is the stress the waste which you can control so if you can do all this to me getting yourself a very good locally made a produced feed is still one of the best but if you can't go through the hurdles of the stress that means going into feed mill running your feed mill on trust feed mill maybe you have your fertilizer in the farm maybe your uh, farmer your uh, co uh, uh, workers are not well uh, trusted so those are what can give you the deterrent of making good success in uh, producing your own feed uh, from uh, formulating your feed for your fishes but for me I will tell you vertically that if you can go through all the stress and all the audience and to me what are the waste the waste are the waste that may comes from maybe when you want to blind when you are going through the process of pelletizing and to me this waste can also always be uh, always be what we call it uh, uh, reproduced yeah and again those waste are not that much where you can get that more waste much is when you are doing your drying maybe you are using the vertical dryer and you are going to use maybe shovel for the mixing and uh, i have to tell you the truth you need a very good binding uh, material to bind it very well that is number one and two make sure that you get an experienced staff i mean by experienced staff that you have to teach them if you don't know you can contact a mentor you can contact us we will we'll, we'll train and mentor your staffs on how to go about the mixing of your feed so that the waste will be minimal if you don't know how to mix if you can get a waste of maybe six kg six kg in 100 kilo we can help you to reduce it to just one kilo or not up to one kilo or 500 grams by method of teaching them uh, because of teaching them how to mix when time to mix so let me give, just give you an example if you want to start mixing in your in your dryer make sure that you first put your hand into the drying once you put your hand into it put your hand into the dry make sure that your hand touch the last feed so once the last feed is strong and the upper one is strong a little stronger and the upper one is strong that is the high time for you to mix and if you are mixing make sure that you start your mixing from the edge so that most of the waste not that you'll be cracking the feed and the uh, the spill of the waste will be going down and a lot of waste will come out from that uh, produce so to me i can formulate an 100 kg feed and still get 100 kg uh, um, uh, feed by the end of the day so all this we can uh, take you through all this we can lecture you through so on this uh, note i think getting a crude protein of 49 percent for our 6 ml is a very good deal in order to create what we call a nutritional diet meant for our fishes at that uh, uh, period so uh, if you don't get those formulations you can also replay the a video back and write it down i this one i'm talking about i'm not putting on the screen as i do before because i want people that are following me because this is a very great uh, lecture so i want you to have your pen and paper so that you can write it down and so that you can really understand what we are talking about at this period so from that point i'll be diving into what you call the alternative formulation that means the alternative formulation for our 6 mm and from this alternative formulation from the 6 mm i'll be uh, talking about i'll be using the fish meal that means local fish meal that means 65 percent fish meal and i'll be using uh, the blood the, the bone the bone meal i'll be using uh, the feather meal i'll be using the soya meal i'll be using the gsc that means the granite cake and i'll be using 
in the likes of the Indomie. Indomie is a little bit expensive now, so if you can't get it, but you can get it cheaper, fine. So if you can't get it, you can use biscuit waste, you can use mist, mist, you can use a uh, wheat waste, you can use uh, uh, your rice brown, you can use your uh, beauty waste, yes, you can use your 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 rice over you can use uh, your some people do use the, what you call the wheat over but i don't uh, advise you to use uh, wheat over most especially if you are doing a locally made uh, formulation and uh, if you want to use wheat over to me you can just use a little a little wheat over because uh, wheat over is full of fiber it's full of fiber and uh, and uh, you can use your sodium yeah, you can get your sodium from anywhere. You can get a whisk sodium, and you can grind it up, and this will still match up with a very give you a very good uh, concentration. So, 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 those are the six uh, materials I will be using, and I will be talking about it uh, uh, to learn. So, and I will be using our what you call the additives. I told you the additive comprises of uh, our our uh, fish uh, premix the DCP, the lysine, the mentholine, the likes, and if you want to put any of the multivitamin which you think you need, or you want to put any of the probiotics or antibiotics, maybe in order to scare away some uh, infection from your fishes. Sorry, what I mean by scare away from them is that if you notice that uh, there are a little bit sluggishness in them, you can use this to treat them, just to prevent them from having it. So that's what I meant by scaring away uh, the uh, some of the uh, diseases from them. So from this point, uh, I'll be ending this uh, episode uh, 29, 29, yeah, 29, and uh, uh, I'll be going into the episode 30. And uh, before we go into our episode 13, 30, make sure that for those of you who have not uh, subscribed, Make sure that you subscribe to, to this uh, uh, channel and make sure that you follow us. Make sure that you uh, press on the follow button. Make sure that you share. Uh, make sure that you always ask questions. Make sure that you give your feedbacks. Make sure that you uh, always give this, share it to likes, man. Share it to your friends and family that really want to go into this uh, great uh, uh, business. This is a business that we have been into for years and uh, this is the business I think if you know uh, what you are doing, if you check the uh, the basis and uh, you can be creative enough to create an hinge for yourself, to me this is a business that is very very laudable, this is a business that is striving, this is a business that has a future of we have a last span of nothing less than 100 years. What I mean by 100 years is that you can give this, this can be an inheritance uh, uh, business. You can read it to your children, your great grandchildren, and they can expand more and bring it to a limelight. What I mean by this is that I have a farm that their dad is running before, and by the time the children takes over this farm and their grandchildren take over this farm, if I mention the name, is very, very popular in the country. They have taken it to the greater height. So this is a future. This is a this is one of the business that has that lifespan. So if I'm doing the, uh, if I'm doing my business plan for it, I normally put a lifespan of hundred years. And I will tell, I will bet you, it depends on the business. There is no other business out there you can give a lifespan of such. Agriculture can give you a lifespan of. 500 years and 1 million years. That means your children, 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 children can continue, can grow it more bigger. If you if like you can, it allow you to have a lot of properties, a lot of land. If you are really, really into a farming because you can expand. The way you are expanding, the more you are expanding, the more you have a more asset for your children that by the end of the day, they can turn into real estate, they can turn into farm estate and these are what you can derive from uh, farming. Farming is just is not just working it out in your house. You can work it out in your backyard, and from then you can expand. Once a farm can push you to expand to a from a quarter plot of land to a half plot of land, and by the time you are valuing that half plot of land in years, you can see that farm 
the money that you sell that land, you have made almost about 100 to 200 percent of what you have invested in fish farming. So this fish farming is a very good uh, one. So by this point, I'll be handing the episode 29. Thank you and God bless you all.